Mr. Speaker. Question number eight, Kanwal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my question is to the Minister of Justice and asked, how will the evidence amendment bill passed last night help the vulnerable victims through the court process? The Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, <clears throat> minimising the trauma that can result from helping to bring offenders to justice is an essential part of the government's commitment to supporting victims of crime. Giving evidence can be especially tough for young and vulnerable witnesses. The changes we have made through this bill will help make the court process less traumatic for those it may affect the most. For example, the bill creates a presumption that child witnesses will give uh, their evidence through either the video of their police interview, via closed circuit television, or from behind a screen, and that all child witnesses will be automatically entitled to have a support person with them during this process. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kanwal Singh Bakshi. Mr. Uh, to the Minister, what protections does the bill have for sexual violence complaints? The Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, giving evidence in a sexual violence trial can be particularly traumatic for complainants. The new bill will mean that the judge's permission will need to be sought before the trial begins if the defence wants to question the complainant about their sexual history with a person other than the defendant and ensures that strict controls are in place to protect the video records of victim statements. The changes in the bill are an important step in delivering on the government's commitment to improve the experience of victims. Question number nine, 